federal prosecutor calling it the largest single state immigration raid in history. ICE agents surrounding food processing plants in Mississippi arresting 680 people. Steve Harrigan's following the story for us from Atlanta this morning. Steve? Sandra, this operation was planned for months. More than 600 agents were involved. They moved in on six different cities, smaller cities around Jackson, Mississippi. They were mainly targeting chicken processing plants. The agents would surround the perimeter of the plant, then move in. They would check for proof of residency from the workers. Those without it were lined up. Their hands were zip-tied behind their backs, and their personal possessions were put in clear plastic bags. They were taken by bus to an airport hangar for processing. Some will be arrested for crimes. Some will be deported immediately, and others will be processed further. Now, this raid comes as just hours before President Trump landed in El Paso to mourn the death, the murder of 22 Hisp mainly Hispanic Americans targeted by someone linked to the Internet with Hispanic hate. Now, I ICE officials and officials in Mississippi made clear that there was no connection between these raids in Mississippi and the recent attacks in El Paso. Oh, those who were detained initially and released for humanitarian reasons are being shipped back to the point from where they were detained. So whether it be Canton or Bay Springs or Morton, if they are being released by HSI for humanitarian reasons, they will be back, put in the back in the same situation they were found this morning. One of the problems, one of the complexities, too, with this series of raids is they occurred in many of the towns on the first day of school. That meant that some parents were separated from their children. Local communities scrambled to try to do what they could to keep children safe. One gym opened up its doors for children, including some toddlers. Some bus drivers were told not to drop off children at homes unless they could be sure that a parent actually was at home. The chicken processing industry in Mississippi has largely depended on immigrant labor. It's tough, hard, dangerous, cold work. ICE officials were clear they were targeting not just those working illegally, but companies who knowingly hired them. Sandra, back to you. Steve Harrigan, uh, thank you very much.